wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Rosita and Tilly are playing a card game. Go fish, Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Elmo wants to learn all about games. Oh, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, oh Smarty. Smarty. <laughs> Hiya, Elmo. Oh, hang on one second. Okay. <gasps> Woohoo! I won the game! <laughs> oh, that's perfect, because Elmo wants to learn all about games. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it, it up. up! Looking for games. Here we go. There are lots of different kinds of games you can play. But one thing they all have in common is you have to play by the rules. Whether it's card games, board games, computer games, sports, or other outdoor games. They're all lots of fun. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves playing games. Me too. See you later, Elmo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Smarty. See you later. Boy, Elmo wishes he could play a game right now. Hey! That gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah! Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> to play this game, we have to find two cards that have the same shape and the same color. Are you ready? Let's play! This card has a blue triangle. Which card matches it? Is it this one? They're both the same shape. They're triangles. But one's blue and the other one is orange. Whoops! Elmo has to remember the rules. They have to be the same shape and the same color. Let's try again. Is this the match? Yes! They're both blue triangles. Great! Next round. Now what about this card? It has an orange square. And it matches this orange square. Yes! Perfect match. Hooray! We did it! We matched the same shape and color. <laughs> Boy, everybody loves playing games, oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle like to play games? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's sister, Ms. Noodle. Oh, and Schmoodle. Hi, Noodles. Oh, Ms. Noodle, do you play games? You like to play games with Schmoodle. What kind of games do you and Schmoodle play? Checkers? Dogs don't play checkers, Miss Noodle. <laughs> Try again. Hockey? That's not right. Dogs don't play hockey, Miss Noodle. Think of a game dogs like to play. A rope? What game do you play with that? Tug of War! Yeah, they're playing Tug of War. Wow, Schmoodle's really strong. Hold Miss Noodle Ball! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Schmoodle? Where did he go, Miss Noodle? Where is he? Let's just 
piece of paint here. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that! It's me! Uh huh. As a painting! Yeah. Hey, you really captured my good side! Uh -huh, thank you! Boy, Smarty, Elmo wants to learn all about painting! Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up! Let's brush up on painting together! Painting is when you use paint and a painting tool to create art. You can use paint brushes, sponges, rollers, and even your fingers to paint on paper or any surface you want. Painting is all about using your imagination. You can paint things you see every day. Things in photographs, swirls, shapes, and even yourself. But most importantly, painting is fun. <laughs> Thank you for helping Elmo learn more about painting, Smarty. Catch you later, Michelangelo. Elmo. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves learning about painting. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Let's play a game together. Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> wonders which of these tools can we use to paint the rainbow. There's a handprint, a triangle sponge, and a roller. Can we paint the rainbow with the handprint? No, that's not the right tool. What about the roller? Yeah, the roller. That's the right tool. Yeah, we painted the rainbow with the roller. What about the other pictures? The star. Try the sponge. It's the right shape. We use the sponge to paint the star. Only one left. The, the handprint. Hand and we use the handprint to paint the hand. Good painting, everybody. Yay! We did it! Yeah! Boy, there's so many different ways to paint. And that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle like to paint? Hey, let's ask him, okay? Hey, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> yes, Mr. Noodle! It's Mr. Noodle! Hi, Hi Mr. Noodle! Noodle. Oh, does Mr. Noodle like to paint? You do? Know? Oh, boy! Oh, show us how you paint, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, show us a painting. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, not painting. painting. That's a hairbrush, not a paintbrush. <laughs> Try again, Mr. Noodle. No, you need a paintbrush, not a broom. There you go, yeah! Good job. <laughs> You're doing it. What's he painting? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that supposed to be you, Mr. Noodle? That's not Mr. Noodle. It doesn't really look like Mr. Noodle. You're missing something. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's him, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on.
Hello there. Um, Smarty, is that you? <laughs> it's me, all right. I'm wearing a mask that I made out of a paper plate. <laughs> well, that's perfect, Smarty, because today Elmo wants to learn all about crafts. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. up. Looking up info on crafts. Here we go. You could turn rocks from the yard into animals like owls. You can make dolls out of pipe cleaners. Or you can fold up paper and make things like a flower. Whoa, that's so cool! Wait till I show you what my older brother Flip made out of popsicle sticks. Whoa, an airplane! Happy crafting, Elmo! See ya! Thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye! Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Jar too. Okay, so we have cardboard tubes, string, and an empty plastic jar. Let's find out what crafts we can make by putting those together. Oh, ho, ho, a horse! Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> Boy, making crafts is craftastic! <laughs> and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, what kind of crafts does Mr. Noodle like to make? Oh, let's ask him. Making a choo choo train. What is Mr. Noodle going to use to make the train? Ah, shoe boxes covered in construction paper, some string, a paper towel tube, and a crayon. You're going to draw the wheels first. Not on us, Mr. Noodle, on the train boxes. Silly. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, Mr. Noodle is drawing the wheels on the box. Cool. Very nice. What's Mr. Noodle going to do next? He's making the engine. He's going to put the boxes together with string. Uh-oh, he's all tangled. Uh-oh. Try again, Mr. Noodle. He made a train. Thank you for showing us how to make crafts, Mr. Noodle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do a happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Somebody say 
dress up? I love playing dress up. something new. We look it up! Ooh, wow! Look at all the ways there are to dress up. You can dress up like a doctor. You can dress up like a pirate. Or a firefighter who helps people. You can dress up like a referee. Or you can dress up to look super silly. And if you can't find what you need for your costume, you can always make your own. Wow, <laughs> Smarty! Playing dress up looks like so much fun! It sure is! And I reckon it's time for me to be moseying along! <laughs> That's cowgirl talk for See You Later, Elmo! <laughs> Thank you, Smarty! Bye bye! Boy, there's so many different ways to dress up! Hey, that gives Elmo an idea! <laughs> Let's play a game together! I saw 
why you called. <laughs> Hi, Smarty. Oh, nice hard hat. Is Smarty building something? I'm building a tree house with my grandpa cord. <laughs> Check out the plans. <laughs> That's great, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about building things. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. up. Let's get to work on building things. When you build something, you need to make sure you use the right tools. Like a hammer to hit a nail. There are lots of things you can build. Like a house to live in. Or a shelf for all your books. Or even a house for birds. Enjoy your new home, birdies. Wow! You can really build all kinds of things. Yup. Building things really rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a tree house to build. Bye, Elmo! <laughs> Thank you, Smarty. See you later. <laughs> Boy, Elmo wishes he could build something. Hey! <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah! Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. A garage for the toy car. Are you ready? Let's play! The garage has to look like Elmo's plan. Which block should we use first? The long round one. Okay, Elmo will put it right here. Now add another one on the other side. Next, add the triangle. No, you need the square block first. Oops, you're right. That doesn't look like the plan. Looks like the plan. Now the triangle. Yay, we did it! We followed the plan and built a garage for Elmo's toy car. <laughs> Boy, building things is fun to do. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know how to build things? Oh, let's ask him. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Mr. Mr. Noodle! Noodle. <laughs> Mr. Noodle! Hi, Mr. Noodle! Does Mr. Noodle know how to build things? <laughs> he do. Hey, Mr. Noodle's gonna build something right now. He wants to nail those pieces of wood together. What do you use to nail pieces of wood together? That's a rubber chicken. You don't get a nail with a rubber chicken. <laughs> you need to use something that doesn't bend. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, uh, no, no, Mr. Noodle. An umbrella? You don't hit a nail with an umbrella? What? Uh -oh. Mr. Noodle. You need to use a tool. Yeah, tool. He's got a hammer. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Noodle. You hammer a nail. Oh, you okay? He built a picture frame. It's beautiful. Thank you for showing us how to build things, Mr. Noodle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy. That makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time.
Hiya, Elmo. I was just playing knock -a block my new game. <laughs> oh, that's great. We were just talking about blocks. Oh, Elmo wants to learn all about blocks, Smarty. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up! Searching for blocks. Here we go. Blocks are toys you can build with. They come in all different shapes, like squares, rectangles, and triangles. Blocks can be made of different things, like wood, or cardboard, or foam. You can build all kinds of things with blocks, like a house, even a whole city. And part of the fun of building with blocks is knocking them down. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Elmo. Bye-bye, oh, Smarty. Boy, Elmo loves playing with blocks. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah! Come on, come on. <laughs> Elmo wonders if we can build a block house that matches this one. Which block should we use first? Let's start with the rectangle. Oh, good start. Which block should we use next? Another rectangle. Oops, there are no rectangle blocks left. Use two squares. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two squares make a rectangle. Now what do we use for the roof? This block? <laughs> no, that doesn't look right. Try again. Use the triangle block. Like this? No, turn it around. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. It matches the other block house. Yes, yeah, we did it. Good job, everybody. <laughs> sure is fun to build with blocks. Hey, that makes Elmo wonder even more. How do you build a block tower? Ah, maybe Mr. Noodle knows. Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> Mr. Noodle! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Noodle. Oh, Mr. Noodle, do you know how to build a block tower? Yeah, uh, show us how. Show us, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> He's got big balls. He's building a beach ball tower. You can't build with beach balls, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> you build a block tower with blocks. Yeah, you know blocks? Yeah, they have flat sides so you can stack them up. Try again, Mr. Noodle. What's he got? What's he got now? Is that a lunchbox? <laughs> He's making a sandwich tower. Mr. Noodle, you can't make a block tower with sandwiches. Mr. Noodle, we want to see a block tower, not a sandwich tower. Looks good, though. <laughs> yes. yes! Those are building blocks. You got uh, it, Mr. Noodle. Now let's see you build a block tower. Oh, look at him go. Wow, wow he's fast. fast. Go for it, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Looking good. Wow. That's yeah. a great block tower. Great job, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, where'd you go? Where Mr. Noodle? is Mr. Noodle? There he is. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy. It makes him want to dance. Come on. Oh, Smarty! 
Hi, Elmo. I was just cheering for my favorite soccer team, the Chargers. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elmo didn't realize Smarty was such a sports fan. Oh, well, that's perfect, because Elmo wants to learn all about sports. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up! Getting the ball rolling on sports. Sports are games or activities that you play against someone or a team. And all sports have rules that you have to follow. There are so many different kinds of sports to play, like softball, bowling, track, gymnastics, soccer, or taekwondo. People who play sports are called athletes. They wear special clothes and uniforms and use special gear and equipment. This hockey player has a helmet, uniform jersey, pads, ice skates, and a hockey stick. Sports are great exercise and a lot of fun for everyone to play, too. Oh, hey, it sounds like the Chargers just scored a goal. I better get back to the game. See ya, Elmo. Woohoo! Way to go! Bye-bye, Smarty! Go Chargers! <laughs> Boy, Elmo didn't know there were so many different kinds of sports. <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> Elmo wonders if we can give the athletes the right sports equipment. Are you ready? Let's play. Look, this athlete needs the right sports equipment to play softball. Is this the right equipment? No, that's a golf club. She's playing softball. Oops, that's not right. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's right. That's a softball bat. Nice hit. What equipment does the athlete need to play hockey? The hockey stick. Try the hockey stick. That's right. A hockey stick. Goal! Yay! We did it! Sports sure are exciting. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle play any sports? Oh, oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's sister, Ms. Noodle. Ms. Noodle. Hi, Ms. Noodle. Do you play any sports? You do? Oh, oh, show us how you play a sport, Ms. Noodle. Show us how. She's reading a newspaper. Uh, Ms. Noodle, reading is fun, but it's not a sport. She's reading the sports section. Oh, Ms. Noodle, you're reading about sports, not playing sports. Yeah, you need to play. You need to wear a uniform. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, Ms. Noodle's a softball player. That's right. <laughs> softball is a sport. Oh, nice mitt, Ms. Noodle. Little big, but... Oh, look, she's ready to catch the ball. She's got it. She's got it. She doesn't got it. Wait a minute. Thank you for showing us how to play a sport. Thank you, Miss Noodle. <laughs> Learning new things makes Elmo so happy. That makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time.
Slide, hop, spin. Slide, hop, spin. <laughs> Hi, Smarty. Hi, Elmo. Oh, I'm practicing a new dance I learned. It goes in a pattern. Slide, hop, spin. Oh, slide, slide, hop, spin. spin. <laughs> oh, nice pattern, Smarty. Oh, Elmo wants to learn all about patterns. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. up. Searching for patterns. Here we go. A pattern is something that goes in the same order over and over. You can find patterns on your clothes or jewelry. There are patterns all around that you can see and hear. So keep your eyes and your ears open. <laughs> there really are patterns everywhere. That's right, Elmo. There sure are. See you later, Elmo. Oh, thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye. Boy, there's so many different kinds of patterns. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Look at all the animals. Oh, let's try to figure out what comes next in the pattern. Duck. Frog, pig, duck, frog, pig, duck, frog. What animal comes next? Is it the chicken? Let's check. Duck, frog, pig, duck, frog, pig, duck, frog, chicken? No, it's not the chicken. Uh-oh. How about the pig? Yeah, try it. Let's check. Duck, frog, pig, duck, frog, pig, duck, frog, pig. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Nerdo know about patterns? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Nerdo! Oh, it's Mr. Nerdo's sister, Ms. Nerdo. Hi, Ms. Nerdo. Oh, Ms. Nerdo, do you know about patterns? You do? Oh, do you see a pattern anywhere, Ms. Nerdo? There, right there. Yeah, that's right, Miss Nudo. The balls are in a pattern. There's a soccer ball, tennis ball. Soccer ball, tennis ball. Soccer ball. What comes next? Oops, that doesn't look right. That's a watermelon. Okay, Emma will give Miss Nudo a hint. It's something that's used to play a game. Oh, oh, okay, okay. No, you're not a football. Try again. Yes, sorry, Miss Noodle, it's not a football. Oh, but can Miss Noodle think of another kind of ball that it might be? You got it, okay. A tennis ball. Is Miss Noodle gonna play tennis now? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, have fun, Miss Noodle. Bye-bye. Oh, boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy. It makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do that happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you.
just love the theater. <laughs> well, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about it. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look uh, it up. Curtain up on theater. Here we go. A theater is a place where stories, called plays, are performed. Actors and actresses talk, sing, or dance to tell the story. Some plays even use puppets. Set designers are people who make the backgrounds. Costume designers make clothes for the actors. You can go to the theater or create your very own theater at home. A play can be about whatever you want it to be. Yay! Bravo, Smarty! <laughs> Boy, you sure do know a lot about the theater. Thanks, Elmo. Well, I'm off to take some selfies with the actors. Catch you later. <laughs> That's my Smarty. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, a play can be about anything? Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Elmo wonders if we can put on our very own play. Are you ready? Curtain up. First, we have to decide where our play takes place. On the moon, a train, or in a castle. Castle. Great. Now, we have to choose an actor to be in our play. A robot, a cowgirl, or a mouse. Robot. Okay. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Now, we have to pick what the robot does. Is he a chef, a basketball player, or a tap dancer? He likes to dance. A dancing robot? That's great! Look at him go! He's, He's dancing! dancing. <laughs> then he got tired and took a nap. The end. <laughs> we put on a play together! Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know how to put on plays? Oh, let's ask him. <laughs> Shmoodle. Oh, Shmoodle, Elmo's wondering. Do you like to perform in plays? <coughs> you do? <laughs> Put on a play for us. Yeah. yeah! Show us! It's Little Red Riding Hood. But where's the Big Bad Wolf? <coughs> You're going to be the Big Bad Wolf, Shmoodle? Oh, Shmoodle, is that really a wolf costume? That's not a Big Bad Wolf. That's a taco! Try again. <coughs> That's not a wolf. That's a chicken. <laughs> That's a chicken, Schmoodle. <laughs> Show <coughs> us a wolf. <coughs> He's being a wolf. <coughs> yeah, you're doing it, Schmoodle. You're acting like the big bad <coughs> wolf. Oh, take a bow. <coughs> Bravo! Oh, thank you for showing us about theater, Shmoodle. Bye-bye. <coughs> thank you, Shmoodle. Hey, <laughs> learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. What do we 
do to learn something new? We look it up! Searching for toys. Here we go. Toys are things you play with. You can pretend with them, like dolls. You can snuggle with them, like stuffed animals. There are toys you can build with, like building blocks. You can even build your own toys. But there's one thing all toys have in common. They're all about having fun. <laughs> That's great, Smarty. Oh, but you know what makes a toy even better? What's that, Elmo? Sharing it with a friend, like Smarty. Aw, <laughs> Elmo, you are a doll. Oh. I like sharing with you, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, got a motor. Bye, Elmo. <laughs> you made a Smarty. Don't forget to put your toys away. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah. Come on, come on. when you called. Excuse me a sec. Sure. Uh, oh. Wow! Boy, Smarty really hit that ball. Oh, and that's perfect, because Elmo wants to learn all about balls. Well, 
what do we do to learn something new? We look it up! Catching some bouncy facts about balls. There are lots of different kinds of balls. Bowling balls, golf balls, basketballs, and footballs. Balls come in different sizes and different shapes, too. There are balls you bounce and balls you hit. Even balls on a string. Everybody can have a ball with a ball! <laughs> Looks like doggies love to play ball as much as Elmo! Me too! Gotta roll! <laughs> bye, Elmo! <laughs> Thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye! Boy, there's so many different kinds of balls and different kinds of games you can play with them! <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea! <laughs> Let's play a game together! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> hmm. Elmo wonders which ball goes with which game. Are you ready? Let's play! This game has a hole in the grass. Which ball goes in the little hole? This one? That's a football! Let's try it. Oops, that's not right. The football's too big. Try the little one. That's it. The golf ball goes in the hole. The next game has bowling pins. What kind of ball should we use? The black one. Bowling ball. That's right. You use a bowling ball to knock down the pins. What kind of a ball goes through a goal post? Looks like it's up to you, football. Ha, ha, ha. 
And I love dancing. Oh, well, that's perfect. Because today, Emma wants to learn more about dancing. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. <laughs> Searching for dances. Here we go. Oh, wow. There are all kinds of dances. Latin dances, Caribbean dances, Native American dances, African dances, and even crazy made-up wacky dances. You can dance fast. You can dance slow. You can dance high. You can dance low. And dancing is great exercise. It gets your heart pumping, your muscles moving, and it's lots of fun. Wow! That does look like fun! It is! Oh, got a boogie. I'm late for my ballet class. See ya, Elmo. <laughs> Thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye. <laughs> Boy, there's so many different kinds of dances. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Boy, Elmo wonders if we can match the shoes to the dancers. Are you ready? Let's play. Which of these shoes goes with which of these dancers? That one looks like a ballerina. Do ballerinas wear tap shoes? No, they wear ballet shoes. Yeah, that's right. Now, what about this guy? Would he wear bunny slippers? No. He's a tap dancer. Slippers don't make tapping sound. So what kind of shoes does he wear? Tap shoes. Oh, so the bunny slippers must go on this person. But that's not a dancer. Oh, she's not a dancer. Ooh, unless she's dancing the bunny hop. Wow. Boy, so many people like to dance. And that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle like to dance? Let's ask him. Hi, Mr. Noodle! Hi, Mr. Noodle! Hi, Mr. Noodle! Hi, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, do you like to dance? You do? Oh, boy! Show us how you dance, Mr. Noodle. What? Wait a minute. Is that how you dance, Mr. Noodle? No, no that's not dancing. You're eating. That's not a dance, Mr. Noodle. Try again. Show us how you yeah. dance. <laughs> hey, maybe some music would help. Don't give up. Show us how you dance. Yeah, yeah that's it. Nice dance moves. You're doing it. It's a great dance. Way to get down with your bad self. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mr. Noodle. Thank you. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy and makes him want to... Guess what? Dance! Come on! Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do that happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Like a garden is. Hey, that's perfect, 
Thanks, Morty, because today Elmo wants to learn all about gardens. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up! Okay, searching for gardens. Here's all the dirt. Gardens are places where people grow plants. Some gardens have flowers. Some gardens have fruits and vegetables for people to eat. Gardens provide homes for all kinds of animals and insects. There are bees and butterflies. There are lots of animals and insects that live underneath gardens too, like earthworms, not to mention field mice. And our friend, the garden snake. Isn't he handsome? Best of all, gardens not only look good, they smell amazing, too! Wow! A garden looks like a lot of fun! Yeah! They really grow on you! Get it? Grow on you? <laughs> I'm gonna see what other gardening stuff I can dig up! Bye-bye! <laughs> okay, bye-bye, Smarty! Thank you! Boy, gardens are amazing places! Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> let's see. A flower, a bee, and a penguin. Which one goes in the garden? Should we put the flower in the garden? Yes. yes. Flowers grow in gardens. Yeah! Yay! We got one right. Oh, let's try another one. Which one goes in the garden? A bee or a penguin? The, the bee. bee. Penguins don't live in gardens. Bees grow in gardens. But penguins don't. See you later, penguin. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow! There's lots of things in a garden. And that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know how to garden? Hey, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, do you know how to garden? You do? <laughs> Show us, Mr. Noodle. Show us how to garden. Wait a minute, is that not a garden? No, that's skiing. Elmo will give you a hint, okay? Gardening has something to do with plants. That's not how you garden, Mr. Noodle. Try again. Oh, good job, Mr. Noodle. Now that's how you garden. He's planting the plants. Don't forget to water them, Mr. Noodle. Too small. Try a bigger one. There you go. That's what Elmo's talking about. He's doing it. Mr. Noodle is gardening. Good job, Mr. Noodle. Thanks for showing Elmo how to garden. Bye, Bye Mr. Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Learning new things makes Elmo so happy that makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance. Cooking as much as I enjoy recharging, and that's a lot. 
<laughs> what is Smarty wearing? It's a chef's hat. What would you like me to cook? Oh, well, well, well nothing. Elmo isn't hungry. Elmo just wants to learn about cooking. What do we do to learn something new? We look it up! Searching for cooking. Here we go. Cooking starts with a recipe. A recipe tells you the ingredients you need. Before you cook, it's important to wash your hands. The recipe tells you how much of each ingredient to use. Next, you put all the ingredients together. Oh, look! They're mixing it all up. Right, and now they're rolling out the dough. They're putting tomato sauce on it and cheese. They're making pizza. Gotta set the timer. The best part of cooking is what comes next. Eating. And eating is a great way to refuel, which gives you more energy. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, which reminds me, I gotta go recharge. See you later, Elmo. Bye-bye, Smarty. Boy, there's so many different ways to cook. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, come on, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. We can follow a recipe. Are you ready? Let's play. This recipe shows how to make a mushroom avocado quesadilla. What ingredient do we need first? One scoop of cheese. One scoop of cheese. Check what ingredient comes next. Two mushroom slices. One mushroom slice. Two mushroom slices. Check next. Three slices of avocado. One avocado slice, two avocado slices. Oh, done! That's only two. We need three. One more. Three avocado slices. Check. A delicious quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Just like the recipe said. Wow! We did it! Boy, cooking is so much fun! Hey! That makes Elmo wonder even more! Does Mr. Noodle like to cook? Oh, let's ask him, okay? Hi, Mr. Noodle! Oh, hi, hi, Mr. Mr. Noodle! Oh, Mr. Noodle, do you like to cook? You do? Oh, show us what you cook, Mr. Noodle! Ooh, that's a big empty pot, Mr. Noodle! But what goes in it? A shell? A pot isn't for shoes, it's to cook in. Get your shoe out of pot, Mr. Noodle. No, no, no. Oh, spaghetti! Yum, yum, yum! Whoa, that's a lot of spaghetti, Mr. Noodle. Whoa! And we're waiting, we're waiting. Oh, it's ready! It's cooked! That's a long noodle, Mr. Noodle. Thanks, Mr. Noodle. Bye-bye, Mr. Noodle. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy. It makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do a happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi! Welcome to Elmo's World! Oh, ho, guess what Elmo is wondering about today? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh measuring! Oh, the two headed master is measuring himself. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. you grew! Boy, Elmo wants to learn. Uh, did me hear someone say measuring? Yeah! Hi, Cookie Master! Hi, Elmo! Oh, does Cookie Master know about measuring? 
Do me know about measuring? Uh, no, actually me know nothing about measuring. Not even this much. But oh. what do we do to learn something new? <laughs> uh, seriously, me asking, what do we do? We... <laughs> Look, it's it oh. up. Let's find out more about measuring. Yeah, me knew that. <laughs> Over here. Yeah. When you want to know how tall, or hot, or fast things are, you can measure them. There are lots of tools that you can use to measure things. Like a height chart that measures how tall you are. Before you go out, you can check a thermometer, which measures the temperature to see how hot or cold it is. You can use all kinds of things to measure with. He's 11 pieces of chalk long. <laughs> a measuring cup helps measure ingredients for baking. People do a lot of measuring every day. Oh, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, oh, does Cookie Monster want to play a game with Elmo? Who doesn't want to play a game with Elmo? Of course. <laughs> well, come on, okay. come on. Okay, oh, wait for me. If we can measure this monster, are you ready? Me ready. Then let's, let's play. play. What can we use to measure? Balls, worms, or oatmeal containers? Oh, worms. Yeah, let's try to measure with them. You can't measure with worms. They're wiggling away. Let's try again. What about balls? The balls don't want to stay stacked up. They're rolling away. There's only one thing left. Oatmeal containers. They worked. The monster is one, two, three, four, four oatmeal containers tall. We measured the monster. Uh, Elmo loves measuring. Yeah, me too. Especially with oatmeal boxes. They make me think of oatmeal cookie. <laughs> oh. Hey, that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle measure things? Oh, oh let's ask him, Cookie Monster. Okay. Hi. Hey, Mr. Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, do you measure things? <laughs> Mr. Noodle wants to bring the board into his house. Will it fit through the door? The, the board is too long. So surprising. Elmo thinks you need a tool to help measure the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Measure with something else, <laughs> Mr. Noodle. A, a tape, tape measure. A tape measure is perfect for measuring things, Mr. Noodle. The door is too wide. Now, Mr. Noodle needs to measure the board. Me am breathless with anticipation. The board is four. The board is too wide to fit through the doorway, Mr. Noodle. Oh, he's going to saw the board to make it shorter. Where's your saw, Mr. Noodle? In the house. He got in. It fits. Me cannot believe me eyes. He had to turn it the other way. The door is tall enough for the board to get through. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Noodle. Bye-bye. <laughs> Flash. Hey, let's ask Elmo 
Smarty's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, Smarty! That's weird. Elmo can hear Smarty, but Elmo doesn't see her. <laughs> wow. I'm right here. You didn't see me because I was camouflaged. Oh, Elmo has to learn more about camouflage. What do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up. Searching. <gasps> Aha, here you go. Camouflage is a way to hide by blending into the background. Lots of animals are great at camouflage. Some are the same color as what's around them, making them hard to see. Some animals have patterns, like spots or stripes, that help them blend in with each other. And some are camouflaged because they look like something else. These insects look like sticks. They're really hard to spot. There are even some animals that can change what they look like to blend into the background. And camouflage is also pretty amazing. <laughs> camouflage is amazing! Oh, thank you, Smarty. Sure thing. And if you need me again, just ask <gasps> if you can find me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves learning about camouflage. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> some animals camouflaged in this picture. Let's see if we can find all of them. Here's one. The cheetah is hiding in the grass. It's blending right in. Yeah, there it is. Good job. Oh, can you find another animal that's camouflaged? How about this doggy? He doesn't blend in. No, he's just hiding. There, in the tree. A green bird in the green leaves. <laughs> what a pretty bird! Boy, you're good at this! Now let's see if we can find one more. Hmm, this is a hard one. Did you see that? Is that rock moving? Maybe the animal is behind the rock. <laughs> the animal is the rock! It's a big turtle. I think it's called a tortoise. Camouflage. That's good hiding, Mr. Noodle, but camouflage is when people don't know you're there. What? <laughs> Mr. Noodle? Mr. Noodle, that's just a disguise. Camouflage is when you blend in with everything else. Mr. Noodle. Where's Mr. Noodle? Oh, there he is. He blends in with the tree. Good camouflage, Mr. Noodle. Goodbye, Mr. Noodle. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance! Come on! Happy, happy, dance, dance, happy, happy, dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do a happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool! See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you. Happy, happy, dance, dance, happy, happy, dance. Just wait, Elmo! <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves fairy tales and wants to find out more about them. Hey, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, Smarty! Hi, 
idea, Elmo. Look, I'm dressed like a knight from my favorite fairy tales. Ooh, I'm ready for adventure. Oh, well, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn more about fairy tales today. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up. Here we go. Once upon a time, there were fairy tales. Fairy tales are made of stories. Sometimes they're about heroes with exciting and funny characters like the seven dwarves or even giants. Fairy tales can be in books or you can pretend you're in one. And best of all, they end happily ever after. <laughs> Fairy tales are amazing! I'm late for a date with a dragon. See ya! <laughs> Thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye. Boy, Elmo loves all the different kinds of fairy tales. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, come on, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. Okay, everybody, let's help Jack get the golden egg down the beanstalk and back home. Now, which way should Jack go first? Down. Go down. Go that way, Jack. Not that way. Turn around. Keep going down. That's right. Go down. He's doing it. Now, which way should Jack go? Go between the yellow flowers. That's it. Almost there. We did it. Yay! Boy, Elmo loves happy endings. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know any fairy tales? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's sister, Miss Noodle. Hi, Miss Noodle. Oh, Miss Noodle, I'm just wondering, do you know the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk? You do? Oh, good. Can you show us how Jack visits the giant house in the fairy tale, Miss Noodle? Yeah, show us how. Miss Noodle, that's not how Jack reaches the giant. Okay, Elmo's gonna give you a hint. Jack has to go very high in the air to visit the giant's house. Okay. She's trying to fly. Is that how Jack gets to the giant's house in the fairy tale, Miss Noodle? No, that's not right. Show us how Jack visits the giant in Jack and the Beanstalk. Right, right. Oh, what does she have? Looks like a lot of dirt. What do you got? Oh, magic beans! You're so clever. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, look, do you see? That's a beanstalk. She's going to climb it. Yeah, that's right, Miss Noodle. You did it. Jack climbs a beanstalk to visit the giant's house. Bye-bye. <laughs> Learning new things makes Elmo so happy. It makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you. The exciting adventures of Eunice, the male carrying pigeon. Wow! Boy, Elmo loves books and wants to find out more about them. Hey, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, oh Smarty! Hiya, Elmo. Hi. I just came from the circus walking a tightrope. Elmo didn't know 
The Smarty could walk a tightrope. I can't, but when I read a book, I use my imagination, and it's like I'm right in the middle of the action. Okay, Elmo gets it. Smarty was reading a book about the circus. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's perfect, because Elmo wants to find out all about books. What do we do to learn something new? We look it up. Getting a read on books. Here we go. Oh, wow. There are all kinds of books. Chapter books, picture books, comic books, and even coloring books. <laughs> cool. There are even books you can read on a screen, like mine. <laughs> Some books tell you how to do things. Books can tell you lots of things about different places and people. And there are books of made-up stories about pretend places and imaginary people. You can even write books of your own. Anyone can be an author. Oh, cool! Books really are amazing! They sure are! Okay, gotta book it, Elmo. I can't wait to find out how the story I'm reading turns out. Thank you, Smarty. Bye-bye! Boy, anybody can write a book, huh? Hey! That gives Elmo an idea! Oh, come on, let's play a game together! Yeah! Come on, come on! Let's write our own story! First, we got to decide where our story takes place. It could be in a jungle, or on a pirate ship, or in a restaurant. Pirate ship! Pirate ship! Okay, so, once upon a time, on a pirate ship, there was a pirate. The pirate wanted to play a game. Should we have the pirate play catch, hopscotch, or tic-tac-toe? Catch! Catch? Okay. The pirate needs someone to play catch with. A shark. Yeah, a shark. A shark? That's a great idea. And they played catch happily ever after. The end. <laughs> great job! We did it! <laughs> Boy, that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know about books? Oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Mr. Noodle? Where is he? <laughs> there he is! Hi, Mr. Noodle! Mr. Noodle, Mr. Noodle, do you like to read books? Show us some of your books, Mr. Noodle! What? Mr. Noodle, is that a book? No! That's not a book, that's a watermelon! Show us how you read a book! That's not a book either! He's reading a bottle of milk! That's not a book, that's a milk bottle! <laughs> Books have pages! Mr. Noodle, where's your book? It's little. It's an itty-bitty book. How are you ever gonna read a book that small? A great idea! <laughs> Elmo guesses you can read a book that way! <laughs> Thank you for showing us how to read a book, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance! Come on! Happy, happy dance! What do we do to learn?
learn something new. We, we look, look it up! Searching for info on wheels. Here we go! There are so many different kinds of wheels. There are wheels that help us to get around, and wheels that help us to move heavy things. Wheels come in different sizes. Some are big, and some are small. Some things use lots of wheels. Four wheels, three wheels, two wheels. But sometimes one wheel is all you need. Yes, Morty! There's so many different kinds of wheels! There sure are! Later, Elmo! Oh, later, Smarty! <laughs> Boy, wheels are so great! <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea! Oh, come on, let's play a game together! <laughs> come on, come on! Oh, Elmo wonders if we could put all the wheels in order! From biggest to smallest. Are you ready? Let's play. Okay, first, we need to start with the biggest wheel. Which one of these is the biggest? That one, the cartwheel. The one made of wood. The cartwheel? Let's try it. Yeah, that's the biggest wheel. Oh, and which wheel comes next? This one? No. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It must be this one. Yeah, the bicycle wheel. That means the wagon wheel is the smallest. Yeah. yeah. That was really great. <laughs> you get it? Really great? <laughs> Boy, that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle use wheels? Oh, let's ask him. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's sister, Ms. Noodle. Oh, hi, hi Ms. Noodle. Oh, Ms. Noodle, Elmo was wondering, do you use wheels? <laughs> you do? Oh, show us how you use wheels, Ms. Noodle. Okay, Ms. Noodle's gonna use wheels to move her wagon. Oh, wait a minute, there's no wheels on your wagon. What are you gonna do? Oh, she's got it, she's got it. Wait, you can't use those. No, you can't use those. Wheels have to be round, remember? Yeah, round wheels. Those are the right shape. Now Ms. Noodle can use the wheels to move her wagon. No, that won't work. That's not how you use wheels. Try again, Ms. Noodle. She's putting them on the wagon. Yeah, that's right. That's it, Ms. Noodle! Yeah! <laughs> She's using the wheels the right way. She can pull her wagon. Great job, Ms. Noodle! Thank you for showing us how to use wheels, Ms. Noodle. Bye-bye! <laughs> Learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance! Come on! Happy, happy dance, dance! It's you. <laughs> oh, boy! Elmo wants to learn about all different kinds of habitats. Hey, let's ask Elmo's friend, Smarty. Let's call her together. Oh, oh Smarty! Smarty. <laughs> Hiya, Elmo. Hi, Smarty. Oh, Sesame 
streak is Smarty's habitat, too. It sure is. I want us to learn about all different kinds of habitats. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. Searching for habitats. Here we go. A habitat is where an animal finds food, water, and a place to sleep. Some animals' habitats are the forest. Other animals' habitats are underwater. Some habitats are under the ground. And some habitats are above the ground. Wow! I know there are so many different kinds of habitats! Time for me to get back to my habitat. Catch you later, Elmo. Bye-bye. Boy, everybody has a habitat. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, Elmo wonders if we can match the animals to their habitats. Are you ready? Let's play. So there are three habitats, a forest, an ocean, and a desert. And there are three animals, a camel, a monkey, and a whale. Which animal belongs in which habitat? How about the camel? Do camels live in trees in the forest? No, camels live on the ground. They live in the desert. That's right. A camel's habitat is in the desert. What about the monkey? Are monkeys habitats in the ocean? No, monkeys don't live in the ocean. That's right. A monkey's habitat isn't the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go to the forest. You got it. A monkey's habitat is the forest. That means the whale's habitat is the ocean. Yay! Looks like they're all happy to be in their own habitats. Hey, you know what? That makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know about habitats? Hey, let's ask him, okay? Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Hi Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle is somewhere really cold. Oh, Mr. Noodle, do you know about habitats? You do? Who lives in a really cold habitat, Mr. Noodle? Yeah. yeah. Who lives there? An elephant. Uh -oh. Do elephants live where it's cold? No. Elephants live where it's hot. Try again, Mr. Noodle. That's a chicken. Chickens don't live where it's really cold. Don't give up! Show us who has a really cold habitat. Yeah! Penguin! <laughs> yeah, Mr. Noodle, that's it! Penguins live in cold habitats! Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Noodle! Bye bye, Mr. Noodle! Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy! It makes him want to dance! Come on! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi! Welcome to Elmo's World! Oh, guess what Elmo is wondering about today? Wait for it. Ribs! Yay, Elmo! Adios, Rosita! <laughs> Boy, Rosita went down that ramp really fast. Oh, Elmo wants to learn even more about ramps. Did me hear you say you want to know about ramps? Yeah. Oh, does Cookie Monster know about ramps? Uh, are ramps a kind of cookie? They are not. Okay, then we know nothing about ramps. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, bye, hold bye, on. Bye, bye. What do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. up. Ramping up to find out about ramps. 
A ramp is a sloping surface that goes from high to low. Ramps help make it easier to do things, like moving heavy things onto a truck. And they help people in wheelchairs enter buildings and go around obstacles. But you can also find ramps, like a slide, on playgrounds, on roads, or at home. You can change the height of a ramp to make things go faster or slower. Wow! Ramps really help things get around, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea! Uh-oh, does Cookie Monster want to play a game with Elmo? Well, me always up for a game. Well, come on! Okay! <laughs> Where'd you go? Over here, over here, over here. Chippies, we want to save them for cookies. The twig. twig! Try the twig. twig! Good idea! Let's try the twig! Yay! We did it! We used the twig as a ramp to help the ant get his food crumb home. Boy, that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know about ramps? Mr. Noodle? Uh -huh. Oh boy, me like that guy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, 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 hey, Mr. Mr. Noodle! <laughs> it's Mr. Noodle's sister, Ms. Noodle. Ms. Noodle. Hi, Noodle's sister. Ms. Noodle, do you ever use ramps? You do? Can you show us how you use ramps? Yeah, show us, Ms. Noodle. She's in her pajamas. She's getting ready for bed. She's sliding down. Miss Noodle, you'll never get any sleep on a ramp. Try again, Miss Noodle. She's setting the table for dinner. Uh oh, that's not good. A ramp is not a good thing to eat on. Now, Elmo will give you a hint. That ramp is made to have fun on. <laughs> She's sliding. That's right, Miss Noodle. A slide is a kind of ramp. Thanks for showing us how to use a ramp, Miss Noodle. Bye, Miss Noodle. Bye, Noodle Sister. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance. Monster, monster, dance, dance. Monster, monster, dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the monster dance, dance. Let's see your monster dance. Monster do Monster Monster Dance Dance Monster Monster Dance Dance When we learn something new we do the Monster Dance Dance
marching to my own beat. You know why? Because I'm so excited about musical instruments. Oh, well, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about instruments. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We look it up! Searching for instruments now. Neat! An instrument is anything you use to make music. Some instruments you play with your hands, like piano. And some instruments you play with your hands and your mouth, like a flute. Sometimes you play musical instruments with a special tool. You need a bow to play a cello. There are different kinds of instruments from all over the world. Taiko drums from Japan, the didgeridoo from Australia, and if you practice a lot, you can learn to make really cool music with instruments. Wow, cool! Well, thanks for looking it up, Elmo Smarty. I love leaving on a high note. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hearing all those instruments gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> oh, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, Elmo wonders if we can match the musical instruments to the sounds they make. Are you ready? Let's play. Let's listen to the first instrument. Is this the right instrument? No, no that's, that's a drum. Hmm. Is that sound a piano? That's it. It's a piano. You play the keys of a piano to make music. Let's play again. Does this instrument make that sound? No, no that's a trumpet. How about this? Yes. yes, you play drums with drumsticks. Cool beat. Now let's listen again. Was that a trumpet? Let's find out. Yes, you blow into a trumpet. That makes music. Wait, I know lots all the different sounds that musical instruments can make. Hey, that makes Elmo wonder even more. Elmo wonders if Mr. Noodle knows how to play a musical instrument. Let's ask him, okay? Hey, Mr. Noodle! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Noodle! Mr. Noodle, do you play an instrument? You do? Really? Oh, can you show us how to play an instrument, please? Yeah, play us a song! Oh, boy. Wait a minute. No, that's not an instrument. No. Try again, Mr. Noodle. Where's it going? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he's doing it. He's playing a musical <laughs> instrument. That's a lot of instruments, Mr. Noodle. You did it, Mr. Noodle. Elmo thinks you must have practiced really hard. <laughs> yeah! Great job, Mr. Noodle. Bye-bye. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy. It makes him want to dance. Come on. Does 
Yoga? You bet! My favorite poses are landscape pose and portrait pose. Oh, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about yoga today. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up. up! Getting to the center of yoga. Here we go. Yoga is a kind of exercise that comes from India. It helps people get stronger and more flexible. It's also a way for you to have fun with your friends and family and helps you focus, keep calm, and become more confident. There are so many fun yoga poses to try, like flamingo, frog, and lion. So, what yoga pose do you want to try first, Elmo? Oh, Elmo wants to try the tree pose. Wow, you're terrific at yoga, Elmo. <laughs> well, gotta get back to my yoga. Namaste, Elmo. Namaste. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves doing yoga. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. Oh, come on, let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Look, these kids are practicing yoga. And their yoga poses look like these animals. Which animal is this boy posing like? The flamingo. Yeah, a flamingo. And how about this girl? She looks like she's ready to jump. The frog. Yeah, the froggy. And how about this girl? Which animal is she posing like? The pigeon? No. How about the lion? Yeah, yeah. she's doing the lion pose. Yeah, we did it. Boy, yoga's so cool. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle know yoga? Oh, let's ask him. <laughs> hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, Elmo was wondering, do you practice yoga? You do? Oh, show us how you do yoga, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, yeah show, show us. us. Mr. Noodle's playing with the yo-yo. That looks like fun, Mr. Noodle, but that's not how you do yoga. Yoga is an exercise with different poses. He's pretending to be a model. Very fashionable, Mr. Noodle. But not those kind of poses. In yoga, people do special poses and deep breathing. Keep trying, Mr. Noodle. You'll get it. Yeah, that's it. Mr. Noodle's doing yoga. Ready, pose. Whoa, keep dancing, Mr. Noodle. Keep dancing. <laughs> oh, keep practicing yoga, Mr. Noodle. Namaste. Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy, it makes him want to dance. Come on. Happy, happy dance, dance. Happy, happy dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do the happy dance, dance. Let's see your happy dance. Yeah, cool. See you next time. Keep learning. Elmo loves you. Thing to draw with. Oh, well, that's great, 
Smarty, because Emma wants to learn all about drawing. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look, look it up. Searching for drawing. Here we go. There are lots of different things you can draw with. Like crayons, markers, pencils, and chalk. People draw things they see or that they imagine. You can draw how you feel or just squiggle around. And drawings are fun to look at. I love drawing! Yeah. Oh, looks like I'm going that way! <laughs> See ya, Elmo! Oh, okay, bye, Smarty. See you later. <laughs> Boy, it's fun to draw oh, and look at drawings, too. <laughs> that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> In this game, Elmo's going to draw a picture. See if you can guess what it is. Are you ready? Let's play! Guess what Elmo's drawing? A rectangle. Is it a box? Is it part of a train? Nope. It's not a train. Keep trying. A, a rectangle, rectangle with a triangle on one end. Is it a crayon? He's adding another triangle. Is it a bowl? Keep guessing. He's adding a line. Hey, it looks like a sail. Oh, it's a boat. A sailboat. That's right. Elmo drew a sailboat. Great job. <laughs> Boy, drawing is lots of fun. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Does Mr. Noodle like to draw? Oh, oh, let's ask him. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Noodle's poodle, Schmoodle. Hi, Schmoodle. <coughs> Does Schmoodle like to draw? <coughs> Show us. Draw something. Yes, draw something for us. Is that Dre? No, he's playing music. That's a ukulele. Shmoodle, Elmo will give you a hint. To draw, you need paper. <laughs> Oops, that's not drawing. That's playing cards. To draw something, you need a crayon and paper. Try again, Shmoodle. What's Shmoodle going to draw? It's Elmo! Shmoodle's drawing Elmo. Wow! That's a great drawing of Elmo! Bye-bye! <laughs> Boy, learning new things makes Elmo so happy! That makes him want to dance! Come on! Smarty. <laughs> That's a great way to travel, Smarty. Say, 
thanks. I'm pretending to be a helicopter. That's a special kind of transportation that flies using propellers. Well, that's perfect, Smarty, because Elmo wants to learn all about different types of transportation. Well, what do we do to learn something new? We, we look it up! Searching for transportation. There are lots of kinds of transportation. Trucks, planes, bikes, and even your feet. Some kinds of transportation have wings and fly through the sky like airplanes. And some have sails and can travel over water like a sailboat. Some kinds of transportation have wheels and travel on roads like cars and trucks. And some, like trains, drive on tracks. There are lots of ways to move and so many kinds of transportation. But the one thing they have in common, they move people and things from place to place. Well, I better fly. Bye, Elmo. Bye, Smarty. Boy, there's so many different ways to travel. Hey, that gives Elmo an idea. <laughs> Let's play a game together. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. What kind of transportation can travel across water? Are you ready? Let's play! Susie needs to go from one side of the water to the other. Elmo wonders if we can find the right kind of transportation to help get her across the water. Yeah! We can do it! What about this? That's a train! <laughs> can a train go on the water? No! no. Trains go on tracks. No train ride for Susie. Let's try again. What about this one? That's a boat. Boats go on water. Try it. <laughs> the boat floats. Susie is riding the boat across the water. We did it. Woohoo! Yeah! Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Boy, Elmo loves transportation. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. When Mr. Noodle needs to go somewhere fast, how does he travel? Uh oh, let's ask him. Hey, Mr. Noodle! Oh, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Noodle. When Mr. Noodle needs to go somewhere fast, what kind of transportation does he use? Show us what you use. <laughs> yeah, show us. How do you go fast? <laughs> That's a pogo stick. A pogo stick is transportation, but it would take Mr. Noodle a long time to get somewhere riding that. Oh, you okay? Okay, Emma will give you a hint. Try something with wheels. Yeah, wheels. Try again, Mr. Noodle. That's too small. Silly Mr. Noodle. Oh, well, that does have wheels, Mr. Noodle. But, you know, it's not going very fast. Something with bigger wheels will help you go faster. You need bigger wheels. Big ones. Of course. <laughs> a bicycle. There you go, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, a bicycle's a great way to go somewhere fast. Huh? Thank you for showing us the transportation you used to go fast. And be careful. <laughs> Learning new 